this video I'll be playing the Dragon Block C mod from Gin Games. Links to the site and a media file link to my personal mod pack are in the description. We'll be playing through Dragon Ball Classic in this video and possibly continue our journey in another video. Please don't be confused, the first couple of minutes I forgot to record the game sound. That's everything for now, so let's not waste any more time and start with the video. We started by creating a character. I chose to be a Saiyan as a race and used the improved Goku hair from the hair salon. And then I was able to start my journey by searching Master Karen who was kinda hidden behind this mountain wall. He gave us the flying nimbus which would increase the speed at which we could finish the first mission. In order to complete the first mission and start our adventure we need to find Master Roshi and his house only spawns on the ocean. Luckily for us his house didn't spawn so far away and we were able to find it fairly quickly. Next up was our first fight and our opponent was no other than Yamsha. Yeah, the dead one. Our next target were Pilaf and his servants Shu and Mei. After beating them with ease they tried fighting me with their robots which still wasn't enough and even after merging their robots together they were not strong enough to beat me. I decided to make this beach our base location and started mining where I found four of the new Varanai ore, which later could be used for armor, scouters and so on. And later that same night, while mining on the mountain next to Kami's Outlook, I started fighting through the first world tournament, beating Yamsha and Jackie Chun, who gave me a bit of a struggle in his full power form. Next up was the Red Ribbon Zelda, but before starting this chapter I unlocked my potential by Kami and crafted our first battle armor parts, which gave me confidence to beat Colonel Silver, Major Metatron and Ninja Murasaki, who dropped his sword after I fought him. With the sword I was able to continue with Android 8, Uyor, General White, General Blue, Mercenary Tau, the Red Ribbon Army itself, and lastly, Staff Officer Black in his robot, who was very hard to beat. But with his defeat, we reached the end of the Red Ribbon Saga. After that came an eventless mining session that was relatively successful. But in order to craft the scouter I wanted and change a battle armor style, I needed to find some cacti. And so began the cacti age. Oh wait, no one piece. But still, a seemingly never ending search. Once I finally found it, I burned some cacti for green dye and made it tech tier 1 with all that. And a squid genocide. I was able to make a green scouter and Bardock's battle armor. With a new armor, I started the second world tournament because I lost the footage of the Fortune Tellers tournament where we won the power pole, which was used to beat all my opponents in the tournament to secure victory. And don't you dare say it's against the rules. I got rid of the commentator for the same comment, so don't make me come for you. With Krillin's unfortunate and only death, the Tambourine Saga began. But I wanted to build a little world tournament like Arena, so I smelted all the cobblestone I gathered during mining and made some smooth stone half slabs. I started placing them near Kami's lookout and well, it took a couple of days and after finishing the first layer I decided to make a second layer. But I'm quite happy with the result. Then I started doing what I do best, beating up with alien creatures. I'm not a space racist, I swear. Tambourine was a big challenge and I needed to eat all my food because I forgot to charge my potential which made the fight way harder because I did less damage and took more damage 
but with flying around I was able to kinda manage it and at the end I was able to beat him. After that fight, I started to do some training because I didn't feel safe enough to challenge the other demons. After the training, I felt really confident again and tried the next fight and I can't really explain what happened here. We finally reached Demon King Piccolo and started chasing him down as well. This saga was really tough, but I managed to beat Piccolo and his, well, I don't know, family? Well, anyways, he mentioned that his son would take revenge for him and the third world tournament was announced. To be absolutely ready, I crafted the Dragon Raider and search for my last missing Dragon Ball. After searching a while, I noticed that maybe the shader was the problem, and as soon as I removed it, I found a Dragon Ball in Yakami's Lookout, giving me the seventh and final Dragon Ball to summon Shenron. To be honest, his wishes are kinda ass and I chose the catching charts because I saw them in a recipe. But after all this time, I learned the Kamehameha from Goku and unlocked 100% of my potential and faced the first opponent, Cyborg Mercenary Tower, with no fear. After his defeat, we faced his old student Tian Chinha, who got blazed by a Kamehameha. Kamehame! Sending us to the final, where we fought Piccolo, who was by far our strongest opponent. leaving us with around 700 from 2000 health left. But that wasn't enough. We still had to fight his giant Namekian form, which surprisingly was easier to beat than his normal form. And with that came a time of peace and the end of our journey. But maybe, just maybe, this world will once need a hero to protect it from another danger. And then we'll be ready. And that is the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed this little adventure even though it was no soul spawn content. I really want to do more in the gameplay or game montage area because I have more fun that way. I also want to become more active again, but I don't have so much time as I work on my German RP channel too and visit university as well. Nonetheless, I'll try my best and don't worry, this whole spawn content isn't off the table. It is my favorite franchise, so you won't have to worry about it. And as soon as we get the Shadow of the Earth 3 DLC, I'll be back with some more Elden Ring videos and maybe tutorials. Until then, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe, maybe check out my other channels and I see you in the next video, The Tarnished.